Afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fishing AT. Uh, it's a bit of a blustery day here down at uh, Hinkley Point. Uh, I've just come down to the north coast of Somerset, um, primarily to fish um, Stolford later on this evening, a high tide mark. But I'm just going to have a couple of casts and uh, have a little recce down at Hinkley. It's a very uh, big, uh, big tide today, uh, about 11.5 meters, I think, on the, the Hinkley scale and about 1.5 low. And low tide uh, is in about an hour's time. It's uh, just gone uh, quarter past uh, 12, and uh, I've got a couple of couple of rods out fishing. Uh, Pulley panel with rag and squid on the on the left hand rod, and I got a whole squid on the uh, on a pulley panel on the uh, on the on the right hand rod. So the tides uh, say is ebbing quite fast still. So uh, it was at my rod rest about 15 20 minutes ago when I cast out, and you can see obviously it's going back a fair way. I'm just going to give it a few casts. Um, not going to fish too long after low tide here because. Um, it's a, a tricky mark, obviously, with the, the the tide coming in. You've got to be careful you don't cut, cut off, and you've got to get back to the back to the slipway so that you can get up onto the uh, onto the path there. Um, weather conditions quite a strong uh, uh, what's that southwesterly-ish wind. It's meant to be dropping off later. Uh, there's obviously always colour in the water here, and quite a bit of chop on the water, but. Hopefully the rain is uh, forecast to stop. I just had a heavy shower now, but the sun is out. So fingers crossed, I uh, can get a few casts in and uh, just see what it's, uh, what it's like here. Catch you later. Well, I thought I had a bite on this uh, whole squid rod and uh, just bringing it in and unfortunately just snagged on this bit of coral here. But it looks like there's a, is that a green eel or a conger? I, I can't quite tell. Uh, looks like a green eel, very green. I'm uh, just going to try and see if I can release this uh, snag, but I'm almost at the limit of my Wellingtons here. And there we are. Looks like a, a green eel, I think. Common eel. Doesn't look very much like a conger to me. Get him unhooked so I can go and get my, uh, get my pliers and stuff. So, yeah, I had a, thought I had a bite before I started filming, and the line was going slack a little bit. And um, I tightened into it, and nothing was really there. And I was just because the tide was going out so much, I was just going to wind in and, and rebate and cast out. And yeah, well, that's the blank beating. Uh, ah. They all count? Excellent. Well, after that bit of excitement, that's probably the biggest common eel I've ever caught. Um, second rods are out, both both on squid now. I'm, uh, <coughs> have, I've had to move probably about 60 yards from my, from my bag. So uh, I think I just put squid baits on, it's easier to bait up. Um, yeah, and it's say it's my uh, I haven't fished here before. I've come down. I know it's a low water mark. Got to be careful with the tides coming in. So uh, low water is uh, is about now. So I'm probably going to fish for about uh, an hour back, and then I'm going to start walking back towards uh, Stolford. So I walked about 3.2 kilometres or two miles from Stolford car park. Down the uh, down the, the sea wall, basically the sea defences towards the power power station. The actual path is uh, the coast path is, is is shut off. I think obviously while they they build a new uh, power station, I, I assume. So it directs you around the back. So I came down the slipway at the uh, at the east end of the power station, and I've walked across the the rocks stones basically to where I am. Um, I think from videos there's obviously a very steep shelving bank over there towards that jetty. I think that's where you see sort of people fishing predominantly, but that's probably another half a mile walk. And I think also people fish up on these uh, ledges here. 
um, out towards that uh, old jetty there. Um, but I don't feel comfortable being out there on my on my own. I think I'd rather be uh, on a sort of cleaner ground here, where I can see my uh, the water coming in, and obviously I can uh, I can move up accordingly. So um, looks like some more rough weather's coming in. I'm gonna have to batten down the hatches, I think, because it's gonna get wet. And then um, it's about a 45 minute walk back to Stolford. So uh, um, Stolford's a sort of, um, on, on paper, it's a high water mark. And uh, when I went there this morning, uh, sort of three hours after, after high, or uh, three and a half hours after high water, the tide was well, uh, well out on the mud. So um, I'll probably aim to fish it two and a half in and a, and a couple out. And uh, high tide is about quarter past quarter past seven. So the tide, low water now, should start pushing in. And then I'll have a couple more casts here, I think, and then I'll start uh, heading back. Oh, and if you can see that, there's a beautiful rainbow there over, over Steepo. Got a bit of a slack line bite on this rod. I'm not sure if there's anything there. It was in a snag initially. No, I don't think so. Ah, that's my imagination. Big bit of weed by the looks of it. really been on the bait. Well, hi again now, now back at Stolford and it's uh, uh, 20 past four, three hours to high water so just ready to bait up and have my first cast. So um, walked, I uh, took some advice from some guys who are fishing uh, uh, below me here about where to, uh, where to come. So parked in the car park and then um, gone right and then into a big field and about halfway down the field up over the top of the bank and as you can see you've got about uh, probably at high tide you'll have maybe about 30 yards of uh, pebbles and boulders and then you're on to uh, sand. There's a little bit of rough ground in front of me which is why I just going to fish to the, to the left of that in a little clearing between two patches of rough ground and we'll see how we, uh, see how we go. So, tying the bait up, and then we'll come back to you when we're fishing. Well, it's uh, 25 to 6, and I'm on the top of the bank here at uh, Stolford now. Um, so, you've got the two rods out, the tide is uh, pushing in hard. I look around to the uh, to the west. You can see uh, uh, Hinkley Point there, and all the cranes that I was fishing in front of earlier on, and the two uh, big large power station buildings. And uh, baits today. Um, I've got ragworm and um, lug, and also squid and mackerel. The worms came from real fun fishing in Porter's Head. And basically the rigs um, I'm fishing pulley panels. Um, I've got a seven ounce lead, sorry, a 170 gram lead with a Gemini clip, a bead swivel to my main link on my rod, swivel, and then oh, relatively short pulley, about two foot and uh, this one's just baited with rag and uh, rag and lugworm and as I say the other one's got uh, squid and mackerel uh, on. Typical 
I've been fishing obviously this afternoon, had a few casts with me, uh, Pen Mark 525, the blue reel, and I had a cast here, first cast, had a snap off. So I'm fishing my uh, Abu 6500 there on the, uh, on the right. Wind is still um, coming in from the southwest, uh, westerly, and fortunately the rain is uh, the rain is holding off. So one of the things I did when I when I came here, I'm now stood on top of the bank um, at Stolford, was actually set up lower down. I think that's actually bit of a waste of time if you come on the tide is got any sort of size on it around about 11 meters on a hinky scale best to actually uh, come up and uh, set up on the top here on the bank you can see uh, the weed here and the, 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 the shape on the tethers where the, the, the tide this morning has scoured away the uh, the pebbles so you can see how high it's come up and that's on an 11.7 meter tide so um, yeah, don't uh, don't be tempted to set up down down nearer the sands because you'll end up having to uh, end up having to come up the bank pretty pretty quickly. Uh, very quiet on the fishing front here. Baits are coming back uh, pretty much untouched, leaving them out for 30 minutes. Both the worm and the fish baits um, not being touched. Um, holding okay with 170 uh, grams of, uh, of lead um, even though there's quite a strong sort of uh, swell action uh, pushing as I look out to see left to right uh, basically uh, holding okay and the, the ground is pretty uh, pretty clean in front of me so um, easy on the uh, on the retrieve um, another thing that I was told when I came here, um, obviously on the back of um, here, obviously the, the, the land is a lot lower uh, and you can see, hopefully you can see there, the water starting to fill in. So you have to find a suitable crossing point to get back onto the fields behind you and the pathway back to the park, the car park. So it's a bit of a climb up the bank and when you come back down you uh, you really need to just uh, be careful where you cross because the water may look insignificant but actually is quite deep in places what a lovely evening i think the moon is uh, trying to to come out there lovely shot Well, I suppose they all count. Here's a, a cod, I was just bringing it in. Didn't think I had a, a fish or anything, but a, t a tiny cod. That's basically, uh, well, as long as my bait. So you can see my, uh, my finger there. I'll get him unhooked and put back. Oh, I was getting good bites on that uh, that uh, cast, but unfortunately I missed it. Well, very much like the last cast, I was getting uh, some good little knocks. I uh, certainly uh, maybe was not expecting a doggy. Like rats, they're never more than 10 yards away from one, especially when you're fishing. Anyway. Let's get him, well, he's actually managed to unhook himself, which is a good thing. And uh, let's, uh, let's get him back in. So he took uh, Logan 
rag and squid on a pulley. You can see the swell here that pushes up along the bank. So we're almost at high tide now. So uh, yeah. <coughs> Happy to get that. It's been a three species day, so which isn't bad. Anyway, let's bait up and go again. Well, again, bites again on the red rod, which is obviously at the worm bait. Um, I have a cod, small cod. I missed a good bite. Then I had the doggy. And now I've got bites again, so uh, four casts in a row, all around high water. I think the one I missed was very much like the doggy bike I had, so uh, that was uh, really nice to get that, but uh, it's certainly uh, plenty of action around high water. Pick this one up and then I'll uh, bring, bring it in, I think. I'm not sure if you can see that there. So behind us now, the uh, water is filling in behind um, on the sort of marshy bit. We're about uh, probably at least 15 feet above the, above the water here on the shingle bank. But the fields behind are uh, they're not quite so I'm gonna put my see the big lake appeared behind us. So uh, just something to be mindful of when you come to Stolford. Um, particularly if you need to get back early um, you'd obviously have to walk along the top of the bank. Uh, and get back to the car park that way. Well, I just had a cracking bite. Really didn't have a chance to to, to film it, and I just got this uh, conga. Uh, must be about three, three, three and a half pounds. Uh, he gave a really good account of himself. I thought I'd missed him, but he's swimming quickly towards the shore. As you can see, uh, there's a fair chunk. He's a bit angry. I'll uh, get him unhooked and put back. Well, turning into a species hunt tonight. Here's a, a white in. Just, uh, t well, again, tiny little white in. I'll just unhook him and put him. Well, I fished about uh, two hours uh, past high, high water. Um, I didn't want to move my stuff back down. Obviously, the water had gone back down to the bottom of the pebbles. I had a really good session here. I've really enjoyed a fish in Stolford, my first uh, fishing trip here. Um, caught uh, four different species. I'd started with a very small cod, uh, then I had a dogfish, uh, then I had the conger at four pound. Uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. And then uh, I had a whiting. Lots of bites um, from about... Um, high water onwards for the for the next two hours pretty much bites every cast after that conger i had a, another fantastic bite and struck into it really really solid fish that i brought most of the way in i, I saw it turn on the water uh, about five ten yards out i think it was another conger probably at least double uh, the size of the one that i that i landed uh, but he but he shed the hook which was a bit cutting but um, such an exhilaration rush to just to know that the, the fish like that are actually here. Um, also lost another couple of fish coming in, um, so plenty of bites. Um, everything was on uh, lug or rag or uh, tip with squid. 
I fish bigger baits, um, pulley panels with um, squid and mackerel wraps, but no uh, no bites at all. And I ended up fishing two rods um, with uh, lug and squid and, and, and tip wood rag. That seemed to be the successful bait. It's thoroughly enjoyable. We'll come back again. Uh, I can recommend it. Um, got navigated the field okay once I found a, found a, walked along the top of the pebbles and then uh, found a way down and across the field so that was good and it's about a one kilometre walk from where I was. Thanks to everyone who's been watching, thanks to everyone who's been subscribing, uh, all the twos, 222 subscribers at the moment. So thank you for all the people that take time to watch, I uh, really appreciate it and I hope you've enjoyed this one. A lot of walking today. Um, I met a guy in the car park who asked me, uh, did I drive my car over to uh, to uh, Hinkley Point? Because apparently you can, as long as you close the gates. Um, but I didn't, I walked, so three point, whatever it was, two kilometre walk. Uh, pretty knackered. Anyway, uh, I've had a good session, so thanks for watching. Take care everybody, tight lines, and see you all again soon. Bye.